Now let us look at the next problem. A circular wire loop of radius r is placed in the xy plane centered at origin O. A square loop of side A where A is given as much much lesser in comparison to capital R having two turns so this has got two turns is placed at its center at z equal to root 3r so this distance is root 3r along the axis of the circular wire loop as shown in the figure the plane of the square loop makes an angle of 45 degree with respect to the z axis which implies that the normal to the plane of the loop is also at an angle of 45 degree with the z axis now if the mutual inductance between the loops is given by mu not a square upon 2 to the power p by 2 r then the value of p is so this is a very simple problem because of the passage of current in the lower loop let us say the current is i at a point inside the loop of side a so this point a at this point in the square loop is at a distance of root 3 r along the axis so magnetic field along the axis is given by mu naught i r square upon 2 times r square plus z square to the power 3 by 2 so in this case the magnetic field b will be given by mu naught current i r square upon 2 times r square plus root 3 whole square that is 3 r square to the power 3 by 2 which can be written as mu naught i times r square so this becomes 4 r square so we can take 2 4 r square to the power 3 by 2 can be written as mu naught i r square upon 2 times 8 r cube okay so the final value of magnetic field on the axis at a distance root tr will be given by mu naught i upon 16 r now since it is given that the value of a is much much lesser in comparison to the radius r that means we can assume that the magnetic field values will not be much different in magnitude at each and every point through the loop and all of them will be parallel to the parallel to each other so the area vector will be making the area vector n will be making an angle of 45 degree with the magnetic field now if you find out the flux through the square loop so that will be given by n b a cos phi or theta in this case the value of phi is 45 degree so the value of n is to two loops are there the value of b is mu naught i upon 16 r area is a square and cos phi is 1 by root 2 okay now what we get is mu naught i a square divided by this will become 8 so this is 2 to the power 3 plus half into r so this can be written as mu naught i a square upon 2 to the power 9 r 9 by 2 r sorry 7 by 2 r so mu naught i a square upon 2 to the power 7 by 2 times r okay so if we find out the 
mutual inductance which is given by link flux divided by current i so we will get the value of mutual inductance as mu naught i a square upon 2 to the power 7 by 2 times r so the value of p is 7 this is the correct answer